Hello everyone and welcome back to Block by Block. Today we are talking about this little guy which is called the I.O. Expander. Now this is what you use on the Red Power computers to go ahead and activate different colored wires. So we'll go ahead and cover the um, couple basic commands you're going to need to know. Now the first one is exclamation point IOX. Actually, I, I'm wrong. It's uh, IOX exclamation point. IOX exclamation point. Now, what this does is it sets the IO expander to that value. Now, what does that mean? Every color cable has a binary value assigned to it. For white, it's 1. For orange, it's 2. For magenta, it's 4, and so on. And for instance, different binary values will turn on more than one light at once. So if you have three, three is a combination of one and two. So three is going to turn on the white light and the orange light at once. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I mean. If I go ahead and go in here, one exclamation, oop, oh, there we go, one exclamation point IOX. Uh, it's afterwards, I always wanna do it before. One IOX exclamation point, there we go. It's going to turn on the white one. If I do two IOX exclamation point, it's going to turn off the orange one. I mean, turn off the white one and turn on the orange one. If I do three IOX exclamation point, it's going to go ahead and turn both of those guys on at once. So you might be thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to learn five bajillion different IOX values to turn on more than one color at once. Well, that's not completely true. What we can do here is there's another command called IOX set. So the first thing I want to do is zero IOX exclamation point, which is going to turn off all signals. So what I can do now is value. So let's do one and then IOX set. So that's going to turn the white one on. And if I do one IOX RST, which is reset, it will turn off that value. So number and then IOX set turns it on and the number space IOX RST will turn it off. So for instance, I can do one IOX set, it's going to turn the white one on. And then I also want the magenta one with the white one. So then I can do four IOX set for magenta and that will turn the magenta one on. Now another neat command is IOX at and that will tell you what the current IOX value is or not I don't know why IOX at okay sorry about that I was being silly um, what you have to do is period which we learned last episode will print something and then IOX at and that's going to out that's going to output the value of IOX that is currently activated. So that is a pretty handy thing and then you can go ahead and use the command page to clear a page. So there's some pretty neat things you can do with that and um, it would be freaking impossible to try to memorize every single number so if you check the description I'm going to go ahead and put a, um, a list of all the basic numbers so you can go ahead and use the IOX set command. Now, um, the easiest way to turn off all values is to do I, IOX exclamation point, and that's going to go ahead and turn everything off. So I don't use IOX exclamation point that often unless I'm going to just turn off all of the values. So, however, you can use things like IOX. So let's say you want a program to check whether or not um, the white cable is on. So we'll just turn that on really quickly. Now we'll get into how to check things in future episodes. But um, right now I'm just going to tell you that is what you would use the IOX at sign for, is trying to figure out what exactly um, these values are are at. So uh, we're not going to go into too much, we're not going to go into that too much right now, 
like this is five and even though it's actually at one five is when it was white and magenta that's because when you do the period it gets the previous thing on the stack yada 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 there's a whole lot of stuff that we still have yet to get into but uh, the main thing you should get out of this episode is iox expander and iox exclamation point iox set and iox rst uh, not rest it's just rst do, do, do. there we go so those are the major commands that you can use to turn things on and off and already using your knowledge about how to compile programs we could go ahead and do something like let's go ahead and write a program called off and go ahead and just make this program zero iox exclamation point and so if I just type off right I did not put my semicolon remember to put your semicolon off there we go so zero iox exclamation point semicolon and now we can type off and it's going to go ahead and turn all of the lights off pretty nice so now you know how to do the basics with the iox expander uh, again all of those color codes will be down in the description thanks for watching and toodles